Hey, Shalom. Okay, first and foremost, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakodash. All right, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, and in this lesson, in this lessons, like yeah, oh. <laughs> Um, this is gonna uh, you know be another edition of not another part to uh, you know basic Bible milk questions. All right, and today's question will be. All right, the the question will be. Um, oh yeah, the who? Okay, who were the laws given to? All right, the laws, you no, know, the laws, statutes, and commandments that are written in the scriptures. All right, and it's not just the Ten Commandments. All right, the. Law statutes and law statutes and commandments are written all throughout the scriptures. All right, the precepts are right, precepts are commandments. All right, this whole you know Bible is filled with law statutes and commandments. All right, so the law statutes and commandments were the well. The question today will be, you know, who, you know, what people were was the law statutes and commandments given to? All right, and just to go ahead and answer that question, it's the Israelites. Okay, and we're going to prove that through the Holy Scriptures. All right, so let's just go right into it, Lord willing. This is edifying and, you know, to the point. All right, so this is uh, Leviticus 26 and 46. All right, and it says, These are the, the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. All right, so... When the children of Israel, all right, was delivered from Egypt, you know, by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, they then, you know, made the trick up to, uh, you know, make the long story short, they, you know, made it to Mount Sinai, all right, and then that's when they received the laws, statutes, commandments, all right, by the hand of Moses, all right, Moses then, you know, Moses went up, all right, to the Lord, you know, the Lord gave, um, you know, Moses the laws, statutes, commandments. All right, and then Moses then you know uh, instructed instructed the uh, children of Israel. All right, the, uh, you no know, told the children of Israel the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, well, you no know, the Ten Commandments. Okay, but you know we just went over how you know the laws, statutes, and commandments are written all throughout the scriptures. Okay, so really, if you want to be technical, all right, the, the the Bible, all right, these scriptures are only for the Israelites. All right, because the law, statutes, and commandments were only given to the Israelites. Okay? So, let's read that again. It says, these statutes, these are the statutes and judgments and laws, all right? Which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. All right? It doesn't say the children of Edom, all right? The children of Moab, you know, the children of Ammon. No, just the children of Israel, all right? In Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Okay, and this also proves that, you know, salvation is only for the Israelites. Okay, because if you go to Matthew 1 and 21. All right. It says, well, let's get there. Yeah, Matthew 1 and 20, 21. It says, and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai. All right, it says Jesus here, but that's a uh, false name. All right, his true name is Yahawashai. All right, and this it world ignorantly calls him Jesus. All right, and it says, For he shall save his people from their sins. Okay, his people from his people from their sins. All right, and Yahawashai, we know Yahawashai was from the tribe of Judah. All right, pursuant to Hebrews 7 and 14. All right, but the point here is what I want to get is where it says, He shall save his people, all right, the Israelites, from their sins. All right, and what is sin? All right, sin is the transgression of the law. All right, know how I said transgression of the law. All right, breaking of the law. All right, and who were the only people that were given the law? All right, we just proved that in Leviticus 26 and 46. All right, the Israelites. All right, so the only people that can sin technically are the Israelites because they were given the law. The only people that were given the law. All right, and we know that the Israelites then, you know, um, you know, disobeyed the Heavenly Father and broke his commandments, all right, going into the uh, different idols, you know, and not hearkening to the, his laws, statutes, and commandments, 
All right, so therefore that's why Yahushai had to come down. All right, to save our, to save you know the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans from their sins. All right, ultimately the elect. All right. Okay, so let's go back. Um, let's get another precept, Slacky. Let's get another precept here, and uh, let's get Psalms. Psalms one forty seven. And 19. All right. It says. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. All right. We know Jacob's name was later changed to Israel. Okay. And it says his statues and his judgments unto Israel. All right. And it's talking about the Lord here. All right. The Lord. He showeth his word unto Jacob. What is his word? All right. His law, statutes, and commandments. All right. The scriptures. That's his word. All right. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. All right. And it's not just talking about one, the one person. All right. It's talking about, you know, all of the nation of Israel. Okay. And it says, verse 20, he hath not dealt so with any nation. All right. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so, hey, that that's that's plain right there. Okay, the, the heavenly Father hasn't dealt with any other nation. All right, he doesn't deal with the other nations like he deals with Israel. All right, he give he's he, you know, Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, um, you know, gave the laws only to Israel. All right. But not well, not these other nations. All right, so let's get our last precept here in Romans, okay? And you know you can do, and just a quick note out there, you can use, you know, um, you know these precepts, you know, on how to prove that how the law was given to Israel. All right, you can use these scriptures to also prove that you know. Uh, we're we're the only ones that can uh know the Israelites are the one only ones that can be saved, all right? Because we just proved it in Matthew one and twenty one, all right. Well, you know, we just we just we just went over it. You know, I'm not gonna go back to it, but you know, you can use these to prove that salvation is only for Israel, man. All right. But uh, let's get uh Romans nine and start at verse one. All right, it says, um, I say the truth and. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. It's like it. We say Holy Spirit here at Great Millstone. All right. Verse 2, it says that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. All right. And this is, you know, Pastor Paul speaking. It says, for I wish, for I could wish, like it, that myself were accursed from Hamashiach Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. All right. So Apostle Paul is, you know, an Israelite too. All right. Go to, um, matter of fact, let's prove that. All right. He said, Romans 11 and 1, it says, I say then, have the Most High cast away his people? God forbid. All right. This is a precept to prove that the Most High did not do away with the nation of Israel. Okay. It says, for I am also an Am an Israelite, okay, from the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. All right, so Apostle Paul is an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, okay. So read verse three again. For I wish that myself were accursed from a Mashiach Yahweh for my brethren, my kinsmen. All right, basically, you know, when you say my your, your kinsmen, matter of fact, let's just get that word. You know, let's get into that word kinsmen. All right, same the of the same kin, akin to related by blood. All right, in a wider sense of a same nation, a fellow countryman. All right, so my kinsmen, my family, my blood. All right, according to the flesh, who are Israelites? All right, so that's the proof. You no, know, who is he talking to? All right, the he's talking about the Israelites. All right, now we're gonna continue on. It says, "Who are Israelites? Whom pertaineth the adoption?" All right, so the Israelites. Had to be adopted back because the Israelites, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, we once broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, all right, but now, 
were being adopted back through the blood of Yahawashai. Okay, starting with the elect. All right, we had to be adopted back. Okay, and it says, and the glory. All right, what is the glory? All right, the, the glory is the kingdom. All right, the kingdom is the kingdom of heaven is only promised to the Israelites. All right, rulership. Though the other heathen nations will be in the kingdom of heaven, they will not have you know dominion like the Israelites will. They're going to be servants under the Israelites. Okay, it says, and the glory. All right, the kingdom and the covenants. All right, and that cov and that it says covenants plural. All right. So the first covenant, you know, with Moses, and then you have the uh, the second covenant, all right, where the laws will be written in our inward part, man. Okay, that's that's only towards the children of Israel, man. All right, they the only the, the children of Israel took part in the first covenant, all right, and the children of Israel will also take part in the second covenant, and no heathen have no part in the first covenant, and no heathen will have part in the second covenant. All right, because they could they if in order for the heathens to have part in the second covenant, they had to be a part of the first covenant. All right. And we know full and well that, you know, the heathens did not take part in the first covenant. It was only the children of Israel. All right. And it says, I'm going to continue reading and the giving of the law. There you go. All right. The Lord only gave the law to the Israelites, man. All right. And it says, and the service of God, which is the priesthood. All right. And the promises, all right, the promise of eternal life, all right, forever, you know, uh, the kingdom of heaven, all right, the rulership, all right, um, eternal life, all that, all right, so, you no, know, that was it, okay, this is just a quick lesson, hopefully, hopefully it was uh, edifying unto the elect, all right, quick lesson to, you know, prove that the law was given to Israel and Israel only, all right, not these other heathen nations, all right, these heathen heathen nations take no part in uh in the in the uh, in the law, man. All right, the 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 Bible. All right, these scriptures are only for the Israelites, the so-called Negroes. All right, black people, Latinos, and Native American. All right, really, the whole scriptures are for the Israelites. All right, all the other heathen nations are side characters. All right, they're just you know extras on the scene. Okay, but. Anyways, with that, I just want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and salutations unto the elect. Shalom.